The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. The Department of Juvenile Justice is still cleaning up after a weekend riot at a Polk County Juvenile Detention Center. Secretary Wainsley Walter says she is still looking for answers. So that we can determine what can be done to prevent this from happening again. The department faces other woes. Just two months into the new budget year, the department faces the possibility of running out of money. Our budget that was um, allocated by the legislature did not really fund us to address anything like this. The problem is a recent court ruling that prohibits the department from charging counties for locking up juvenile offenders. The state is now scrambling to make up a $35 million deficit. There's another $19 million budget hole after the federal government stops sharing health care. We're looking for the legislature to to assist us. While the department may be broke, the state isn't. DJJ is asking lawmakers to tap a $2 billion savings account. The financial issue was expected to be a one-year problem. Our budget will be made whole so that we don't encounter these kind of shortfalls every year. Lobbyist Barney Bishop isn't surprised by the court's decision, but he says DJJ is trying to right any wrongs. I think that this is a legitimate issue that the secretary is doing the appropriate thing in notifying both the governor and the respective appropriation chairs. Although unlikely, it is possible the budget shortfalls could lead to the closure of several juvenile facilities statewide. In Tallahassee, I'm Mount Horn reporting.